at Crazy For You. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining me. Tonight, we are going to be looking at two sets of interchangeable needles. The two that we're going to be looking at are the Addy Click Rocket Set and the Chow Gu Red Lace Twist Set. So why these two sets? Um, you know, typically this time of year, we have like a needle expo and everybody gets to come in and look at the needles and try them out. And it usually comes down to these two needles. So um, the reason that they're so popular is that they're metal and they have a really pointy tip. But there's a lot of differences between the two and a lot of similarities. So I thought we would take a deep dive and look at both of them tonight. Hey Joyce, how are you? Hi Gwen, hi Evelyn, it's so nice to see you. So um, what I wanted to talk about is basically um, where they're made, what's included in each set, um, the material of the tips, the length of the tips, the shape of the tips, the join, and the cable. So um, first and foremost, let's talk about the Addies. So the Addies, I often say, are like um, your Mercedes Benz, okay? They're made in Germany, very carefully German engineered stuff. The Chow Gu are also very precision. They're made in China. So um, the Addies are distributed through Skissel exclusively in the United States, and the Chow Gu are distributed through Chow Gu in the US. So what's included in this set? So um, rather than just kind of open this one here and show you everything, I have kind of a picture. So let me share my screen so that you can really get a close up look of that. Hi, Jal. Hi, Terry. Thanks for joining me. Okay, so this is the Addy set and um, it comes in a pink vinyl case, which you can see here. And um, when it's closed, it looks like a little clutch and it's um, basically snaps that hold it, it open and closed. And there's a zipper pouch on the back, which you can see. Um, with the Chow Gu, you have a kind of a black and white fabric case and um, each pair has its own little marked pouch and it zips all around. You can see me over here is zipping this all around. So it zips all around. That's how it opens and closes. Um, and it also has a zipper pouch on the back. So here's the, here's the zipper pouch on the Addy. So you can see all kind of this, you know, what they, what they basically look like. Let me show you these again. So that's the Chow Gu and this is the Addy. So let's talk about what's included. Um, with the Addy set, so with the Addy set you have eight tips total. They go from US size 4 up to US size 11. There is no size 10 and a half. Um, with the Chow Gu, and for this presentation, I'm talking about the Chow Gu Complete. Okay, so you can buy the large or the small, and we'll talk about that later, but this is the complete set, so both the large and the small. So with the Chow Gu, the needle tips go from size US size two, which is 2.75 millimeters, up to US size 15, which is 10 millimeters. And for both the Addies and the Chow Goos, you can purchase additional tips, all right? Um, with the Chow Goo, as I said, there's large and small. So you have a different, a different cable, a different sized cable for um, the small tips than you do for the large tips. So that's just something to bear in mind. Um, with the Addies, the connector is the same for all of them. Okay. Um, 
but there is also an, an adapter available. If you, if you wanted to use the large cable on the small needles, you could do that. You could purchase a separate adapter that, that put, you put a large cable into one end and you screw that into the small. So anyway, that makes it a little bit functional. So as far as cables um, with the Addy, you get one each size 24 to make, to make a needle size 24, 32, and 40. So you get three cable ne cables total. And with the Chow Gu, you have needles to, you have cables to make size 19 inch, 27 inch, and let's see, what is that last one? 35, I think. And you have a set of those each for the large and the small. Does that make sense? Tell me in the chat if that makes sense. Okay. So the extras. Let's look a minute at this picture that I had again, and you can we can talk about the extras. So within the Addy set, there is um, there is this little um, needle sizer. You can see that it's a little red needle sizer. I'll pull it out so you can look at it too. It's a very nice quality, um, sturdy plastic, and it's really handy so that you can look at your, um, you know, you can see what size each tip is. And then there's also this little rubber set that it's, um, I'm going to show you here. There is these little rubber grippy things. And these are used to get a really nice grip on your, on your needle tips and the cable. And it really makes it a great deal easier to um, twist and click your needles into the, um, your tips into the cable. Um, also, you get a little adapter. That's this, this thing right here uh, that allows you to join a couple cables together. So you could join your, your 40 inch and your 32 inch and have basically a 60 inch which is very nice. All right. And those are the extras with the Addies. With the Chow Gu, you get, um, so you get the connector. You have a little tiny um, metal connector that allows you to, like you do with the Addies, to hook two different lengths together to make it longer. Um, you have a, a plastic needle gauge. This is is um, I guess it's plastic. It feels it's very um, it feels kind of like coated cardboard. It's not a particularly heavy duty one, but you know it does the job. You also get these little um, end stoppers. Can you see these little these little black ones and these little white ones? Those are if you want to take those tips off and use them on a different project. I'm sure you never have multiple projects going at um, at a time, but for those people like me who have a million projects going, sometimes it's nice to be able to um, unscrew the tip and use it on something else. And then you just put these little adapter things on the end and you can um, you know, hold your stitches in place. So they have a set for the large and they have a set for the small. Addy makes a set like that. They're called heart stoppers, but they are not included. They are extra. You also, with the Chow Gu, receive a pack of um, these stitch markers that I will show you here. So you have these little stitch markers, the little plastic stitch markers. It's just kind of a little, you know, a little extra thing, okay? Yes, always multiple projects, Terry. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay. So let's talk about the materials of the tips. So I pulled a couple of these out. So the Addy tips are made of um, white bronze over brass. Okay, so they have um, a very smooth, very slippery kind of feel. The Chow Goos are made of surgical steel, also very, very smooth. Um, the, f the difference in the feel between these two needles is very, very slight. Um, I do think that the, the um, Addy's just a tiny bit um, smoother, um, 
the real difference, and I think people notice this the most, is the way they sound. So I'm going to let you hear the difference. Tell me if you can hear it. So this is, first, this is the chow goo, and I'm going to rub them together, and then I'm going to click them so you can hear the difference. So this is how they sound when they're being rubbed together. Can you hear that? And this is how they sound when you click them. All right, and this is how the Addies sound when you rub them together. And this is how they sound when you click them. So it's definitely a softer sound for the clicking Addies and then the Chow Goo. Okay, so, um, and I don't know how they do that, whether it's in the coating or whether it's in the nature of the, um, the needle, but for some people who are very sensitive to sound, that is a thing, okay? Um, so let's talk about the length of the tips themselves. I have a slide for you, so I'm gonna show you that. Hang on a second. Okay, so both sets of both tips are just about five inches. You can see here the um, the Addies are on the top and the Chow Goos are on the bottom. And I've lined them up against my ruler so you can see where the the needle tip actually begins. This portion here on the Chow Goos are the screw that actually will get screwed into the cable. So this doesn't count in terms of the length. So you can see that. The Addy Rockets are just a smidge over five inches, and the Chow Goos are just a smidge under, maybe a quarter inch under the, um, the five inch mark. So um, they both also come in a shorter set. So you know if you have circular needles, that you can only go so small a diameter with a five inch tip. You know, there's just not enough room for that five inch tip to make a 16 inch diameter in the round. So they both, both Addies and the Chow Goo come in a four inch set that you can use a shorter needle with and make a 16 inch circular um, circumference knitting. All right, what else did I wanna show you? Uh, Okay, so let me show you the, the tips. Okay, so the, the reason people like these needles is because they are very pointy. And you can see that the, um, this is the Chow Goo on the top and this is the Addy Rockets on the bottom. They're really, really close, okay? Um, I think the Chow Goo is is pointier. You can see that it's a tiny bit smaller as it approaches the end. And that means it's obviously skinnier. You can definitely feel it with your fingers. The chow goo is definitely pointier against the tip of your fingers. So it's a thing that you will notice. Um, the other thing I want us to talk about is the taper. You can see that they both have almost the identical same taper length. We could look at that here. You can see that the taper is just about three quarters of an inch on both the Addy Rockets and the Chow Goo needles. So that's something to sort of think about. Um, the real difference also, I keep saying the real difference, they're all real differences. Don't make no mistake. I mean, there are definitely differences between these two needles. Um, And let me just say that one is not better than the other. You know, they're different, okay? They both have pros and cons, and this is very much a personal decision about what you like and what's important to you and, and maybe what you already have. So, um, yeah, I just don't want you to think for a minute that, that this one is better than that one or whatever. They both have wonderful benefits and drawbacks that we are going to talk about. So let's talk about the join. Um, Addy Rockets, just like all of the Addy, or Addy Click Rockets, just like all of the Addy sets, have this patented um, push and twist mechanism. So um, 
the chow goo and like all the other um, interchangeable sets are screw in. So they are, um, you have a little a tip that screw on the end of your tip that screws into the cable or vice versa. You know, sometimes it goes the other way. I think the high highest go the other way, but they're all basically screw together. The Addies are the only ones that have this push and twist mechanism. And that means different things in terms of, of the join and how it feels and how it performs. So let, let's get this next slide up and I will show you. Um, oh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is um, the fact that these are both not rotating. So let's look at this slide. Okay, so here's the, here's the join on the Addies. So you can see that this twist and click mechanism has the, the um, cable going up inside the tip. And there's just ever so slightly this little tiny jog. And here is the join on the uh, chow goo when it's very tightly screwed in. There isn't any change in diameter or circumference at the join, so you don't notice it quite so much. Um, also, let's look right here at where the, um, the cable, what happens to it right at this point where the, the um, flexible part of the cable joins the portion that goes into your tip. These are both fixed. So your needle tip is not going to be rotating around the cable at all. Um, some people really like that to happen. I have found that when the cable rotates around the join like that, um, that little bit of space that is required to allow it to rotate in that way catches on my knitting. So I personally don't like that. Um, Chow Gu has another line of needles that are called, um, what are they called? Uh, spin. And they do rotate. So again, that's just a matter of personal preference, what you like. But um, if you work with very fine yarns or you tend to knit very tightly, I think that's going, would, that would bother you. And so neither of these needle sets have that, um, that characteristic. Um, so uh, for both of these, I think having a little gripper is helpful. This little red gripper that you get with the Addy Click Set, I think is really helpful in order to push and twist. And if you happen to have um, like a little piece of that jar opener, you can use that, that here. The fact that this is a twist join um, you really do need to use one of the provided T pins to, to provide extra torque. Um, so as we are knitting along, so this leads me to kind of the next section, which is the security of the join. So as you're knitting along, um, you know, you're twisting, right? You're twisting your yarn and you're, you're constantly providing a certain amount of, of twist in your hands when you make each knit or purl stitch. So with the, the interchangeable needles that twist into place, there has been some complaint about the needles coming untwisted. And if you've got a thousand late stitches in a lace project, having your needle come apart is an exceptionally bad thing. So nobody likes that. Um, in order to avoid that, there's a couple things that you can do. One, um, it comes with a little T pin that you can insert into a little hole in the base of the, um, the needle tip. And that allows you to get a little extra torque on your twist. So if you if you use that and you use like a little bit of a rubber grip to hold on to the cable, you can get a really, really nice, um, tight, secure twist on that and keep it from opening. The other thing you want to do is if you are working with a lace project, you want to make sure that you're kind of checking and making sure that it's not coming undone. Um, 
and you can also use a lifeline. If you are working with the Eddy Click, I have also had people say that if they're knitting very tightly, as they push those stitches up um, onto the needle from the cable, they can accidentally push and provide a little bit of twist and activate the twist click mechanism that will cause the needles to come undone. So neither one of them is absolutely 100% fail safe, especially if you knit tightly or you're, you're working with a very fine, fine yarn. So they both have pros and cons in terms of the security of that join. They're both equally smooth to my mind, and they're, they're both probably equally secure when you are aware of kind of the pitfalls for where that um, undoing might happen. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, so um, I wanna say that the Addies in recent years have definitely made the twist and click mechanism a little bit tighter. And I think that has to do with maybe responses that they've had about pushing the needles up. And that's why they've provided these little gripper things to help hold on to the needles so that they're just maybe a little bit tighter to get in and out and they don't inadvertently come undone. I think both companies are constantly um, listening to consumer response and improving the quality of what they're offering. So um, the cable. Do I have a thing for this? Okay, so um, the cable, I mentioned earlier about uh, using a lifeline. Let me show you this picture that I took of the two different options. So a lifeline is a tiny thread of yarn or something finer, like a crochet cotton or something that you would put uh, in your stitches so that if you're if something were to happen, you were to make a mistake or whatever, they um, the stitches would be caught. And that's just kind of a little safety measure. It's a lifeline. So both needle companies have a, a mechanism by which you can add a lifeline automatically. So here on the left is Chow Goo's. There is this little hole right here where you can insert um, a fine yarn or a thread, as I said, and run that through. And it's automatically going to provide a lifeline as you knit. So I think that's a very cool aspect. Um, Addy has the same thing, except theirs is in the cable itself. So you can see right here, this blue nylon cable has a tiny slit and you can thread your, um, your yarn that you're gonna be using for your lifeline through that little slit and close it up. And again, it's automatically providing a lifeline as you knit which is extremely, extremely cool. Um, okay, so as far as the cables go, and this is really where people, <laughs> it's just really hard to argue with the Chow Gu cables. The Addy cables have this, this blue nylon cable. It's very nice, it's very flexible, and I, as I said, it has that lifeline, it's called an SOS, so it has that lifeline built into it. That's pretty much all there is to say about it. With the Chow Gu, um, this is what makes people a lot of times choose Chow Gu over Addies. It's simply this incredible cable. This is a, they call it a flexible, multi-strand, nylon-coated, memory-free steel cable. That's a mouthful. But what you're going to see is that this cable, it doesn't kink. You know, you get it right out of the package. It's straight. It doesn't matter what you do with it. It's not going to kink. It's not going to bunch up. It's not going to get in your way, which is really, really nice. Um, and it's, you know, it's the same on all the needles. It's, I mean, on, yeah, on all the needles. It's just a very nice, smooth, flexible, um, it's, it's really fabulous. It's a very, very nice cable. So that's a huge selling point for the, um, for the Chow Gu. Uh, let's see. Um, 
So really those are kind of the primary differences. There's the, the material of the, um, the needles themselves. I think they're both pretty close in terms of pointiness. If I had to pick a winner, I would say chow goo is definitely pointier. Um, the texture of the needle itself, um, the Addy Turbo is definitely smoother and quieter. Um, as far as the join, I like the Addy Click Set. I like that join. I like the feel of it. Um, but I will say that one of the downfalls is that it can only go down to a U.S. size 4. That twist and click mechanism can only be made so small. So you're not ever going to see an interchangeable tip for the Addy sets below a US 4 or a 3.5 millimeter. So that's um, if you knit in a very, very tiny gauge, um, that might not be your, your choice. You know, it might not be the set that you want. Um, what else? Um, the cable, of course. So the, the needle pointiness, the needle material, um, the, the cables themselves, and um, in terms of price, the, the Addy Click Rocket Set and the Chowgu Complete are within $10 of one another. So you actually do get more needle tips with the Chowgu Set than you do with the Addy Rocket Set. I think there are, I have this up here in my notes. And I actually have these notes, and if you're interested in um, a PDF copy of these notes, just email me. Um, at welcome at crazyforyouyarns.com and I'll send them out right out to you. Um, so the Addies, you get eight tips total, as I said, from a US 4 to a US 11, no 10 and a half. And with the Chow Goo, it goes from a size 2 up to a size 15 and it does have a 10 and a half in there. So there's a total of 13 tips in the complete set. Um, what else did I want to tell you about this? Does anybody have any questions, anything that I can answer for you um, about these? So um, both, I think both companies stand behind their, their product. The Addy Click is guaranteed for life. If anything is, if there's ever a problem with any aspect of it, you bring it back to me um, and I make it right for as long as, as you own it. Um, with the Chow Gu, I know that they... Um, they will replace anything that is broken in the normal wear and tear or if there's any kind of a manufacturer's defect. And that is um, something that the Chow Gu also coordinates with the, the retailer. So you would come to me and, and I would take care of that for you as well. I'm not sure that they would, like if you said, well, this is whatever. I, I haven't had any interactions with the Chow Gu manufacturer. I haven't had a you know a problem or anything. So um, I don't have enough experience with that to say one way or the other, but I'm quite sure that both companies stand behind their product. Um, a lot of it's going to come down to what you like in terms of the feel. And if you've already invested in one set or another, I think you're probably going to be looking to maybe expand that. Like I have the Addy um, regular click set when it first came out. Um, and I, I have the, uh, the Rocket Square set. So it's nice to be able to interchange those. If you happen to have um, maybe the, the long set or the short set or, you know, you wanted to get you had already invested in one set or the other of the um, the chow goo, then that might be something that you felt more comfortable with. Or you just might want to have two sets. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. I have multiple sets of interchangeables. <laughs> Isn't that sad? But um, yeah, but I like those. So um, let's see. Eveline has a question here. It is two thicknesses cables in either. Okay, so... Um, the difference in the cables, there's not so much a difference in the thicknesses of the cables themselves as there is in the, the join. Let's see. I don't have calipers. I'm just going to have to give you a, vis a visual on this, Evelyn. So the... Um, 
Yeah, um, so it looks like the, uh, the smaller, for the smaller needles, the US 2 to US 8, the cable actually is thinner on the Chow Gu than it is on the, um, the cables that are in the large set, which go from US 9 to US 15. So the cable itself is slightly smaller. None of it is going to be so small as to be um, a problem, I think, for your, your stitches. Um, you certainly could use the larger um, cables on a, on a finer yarn, I think. You just have to try that out and see. But yeah, they are. That's a, that was a good observation, Evelyn. They, they are slightly different in terms of thickness between the, the large and the small. With the Addy um, Click, the um, cables are all the same size because the click mechanism is the same for all those needles. What else can I tell you, if anything? So anyway, um, that's what I have for you tonight. And if you want either of these, or if you want to come into the shop and try them out yourself, I would be happy to have you. And um, so that's what I have. And if there aren't any other questions, I will be signing off. And I, again, thank you for watching. And until I see you next time, keep knitting and create something beautiful. Have a wonderful evening.